want to improve your style. Here are some five easy tricks to learn in the space of an hour that will impress your friends. Okay, trick number one, the bar turn. Really fun, really simple, and really easy. So, step one is to find out which way you prefer to turn your bars. Most people prefer to turn the bars to the most dominant side. So for me, that's this side, and turn in to the right. But everyone's different, so you need to decide which way you like to turn. So, step two. You need to take it there, easy. And you start off really slow, really small, and then you slowly build it up, getting bigger and bigger each time, and then you just try and see how far you can get, and you get 90. So, trick number two. The whip. In order to do the whip, you have to know how to bar turn. So if you don't know, pause the video right now and go back and watch the bar turn tutorial. So the whip is so much fun, but really hard to learn. Step one, just like the bar turn, find which way you feel comfortable. So for me, I prefer to turn to the right or to whip to the right but then again everyone's different like I said for the bar turn so for my step two it would be kind of riding along doing a bunny hop and just kind of whipping out your back your back end really simple just kind of ride along and you, wanna... you just want to whip out your back end really easy you can get it as big as you want as small as you want step number three is just to take it to air and same again with the bar turn. Start small, then get bigger and bigger and bigger. For a whip, you can either do it on a straight jump or you can do it on a hip. Now hips are harder because you have to, well, first of all, you have to learn how to do a hip. But once you've done that, the whip is so much easier because you can just leave it out. Number three, the one-hander. Now we're getting into more kind of technical tricks. So the ones where you're taking stuff off of the bike. So, step one for this trick is, again, like both the bar turn and the whip, find out which hand you're comfortable taking off. Step two is you've got to take it straight to air. And in the air, you've got to slowly just take your hands and your well just take your fingers off the bar yeah leaving your thumb on you know for comfort and then you take your thumb off hand still resting on the bar and then you slowly bring it up and up bigger until it's about helmet height then you can start to go out to the side and get it right up right two important things when learning the one-hander the hand that's staying on the bar is really important because if that if that hand relaxes and you take it off, your bar is just going to turn and you're going to land and you're going to go off. And tip number two is when you're taking it out, don't take it down because you'll drag the bar with you and again, like well, your bike will turn and you probably will leave the bar there and you'll go off maybe into a tree. To take your hand up and out. Number four, so no furs. Now I know what you're thinking, why are we doing a no fur and not a one fur? Well, no furs are actually easier because if you take one foot off your pedal and your pedal's a level, one foot's gonna go right down the foot that's on the crank is going to go right down. No footers, that's not going to happen because you're taking both off. So, step one for a no footer. You're on flat ground and staying stationary. 
and you're just jumping, taking your feet off. Start by going up, you know, just getting comfortable taking your feet off the pedals. Then you start, you know, traveling. So you're traveling along and you're doing a no footer. Okay, now your final step for a no footer. You gotta, like everything else, like the one hander, like the whip, like the bar turn. Start small, bringing your feet up until you can't bring them up anymore. And then, like with the one hander, start to bring it out. So, this trick is called an ET. And just like in the movie ET, it's where you're in the air and you do a pedal. So, unfortunately for you, there's no kind of flat ground preparation for this trick. You've just got to go straight up into the jump. Start off with a quarter crank, then a half crank, then like a full crank or three quarter crank. And then, you know, if you're finding that easy, you can go for double cranks, triple cranks. And yeah, just build it up, see how many you can do. So guys, thanks for watching this video, um, if it helped you out, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one, see ya.